so another day another part off of Peugeot 307 <laughs> today we are looking at this which is a turbo solenoid now as you can probably see if I hold it up a little bit to the camera here um, I've already taken off this retaining ring it's kind of got a, like a crimped ring on the end uh, just basically bleh, leaving the bugger off that vacuum reservoir supplies a vacuum feed to this this then is controlled by the ECU of the engine to basically open and close uh, a passage from that vacuum to the turbo wastegate. I attached a um, syringe directly to the uh, vacuum servo on the uh, wastegate itself, on the turbo itself. The wastegate did shut, the turbo did uh, spool up, which is the first time I heard the turbo spool up. It's just kind of proved a point. So the next thing back in line really is this thing here. If there's vacuum there and there's no vacuum at the actual wastegate itself, the only thing in between those, apart from some pipes, is this. When the engine decides it wants the turbo to spool up and provide boost, um, it effectively just joins the uh, vacuum feed <clears throat> into this thing to the turbo wastegate. There was no vacuum coming out of this thing, although there was a vacuum being sucked in, sucked out. Its input vacuum was uh, a vacuum. Not 100% sure how this thing worked, um, so I have pulled it apart basically by taking this uh, metal ring off here and then this end cap just comes off like that. What we can see is we've got a little internal pipe here. There's a chamber in here. Um, now if I attach a pipe to what would be the vacuum inlet i.e. where the vacuum is being drawn out of this thing and uh, blow or suck doesn't matter it's actually uh, airflow this pipe here just blows out of here what we must assume is that pressure vacuum rather comes from it's being drawn out of this pipe in the middle here and is then going through this um, chamber here and then sucked up to the turbo. Um, when the wastegate is open, this pipe is blocked off. When the engine, the ECU, wants to spin up the turbo, it unblocks that pipe so that the vacuum from here carries on through here to the turbo. That's where this bit of it comes into play. Got like a rubber jobby doobie and a kind of plasticky jubi dooby 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 bit there. So if I take that out, uh, we can basically look to see that this is just a sort of metallic plunger with probably a whacking great big kind of electromagnet thing in there. We've got uh, two pins, probably can't see them down there, I wouldn't imagine. I reckon we're looking at a fairly basic um, electromagnet thing here, uh, negative and positive. And looking on here, it says 12 volts. So I'm assuming that you can put 12 volts through this thing and it will actuate this doohickey thing here um, and then we've got this pipe here so that just blows through to the inside of this which is on the underside of that so if I seal it up there is no airflow, th airflow through there are you keeping up by the powers of deduction where that little pipe there goes into there there's a little sort of sprung valve thing the weak part of this really is that little springy thing there because if that's stuck open you're not going to get any vacuum uh, at all in this system so um, I had a little bit of a sucky pooby on here and if I push it down you get airflow through here when I first tried this uh, a minute ago, if I didn't push anything down there, I was getting airflow. So I think probably just a bit of SH1T um, got sucked in. So of course the other option, possibility, the reason why this doesn't work, the electronic side of it isn't working. We can test that. Now it just so happens I have a 
12 volt supply here. Uh, it shouldn't really matter which way around um, we connect power to this thing. What kind of resistance we got through this thing? I'm guessing it shouldn't be a short because that wouldn't be good. And oh my god, I'm all knotted up. Probably shouldn't be a massively high resistance because yeah, that wouldn't be good. So, what we're looking for is something of a resistance. Yeah, so we got about 16 ohms of resistance. So, that looks quite, quite healthy. So, let's see if we can get this thing to actually operate. Get some 12 volts attached to it. 12 volt supply. We're getting some electricity. Actually, actuates this or not. Hopefully you'll be able to see in a second that disappear back inside more or less. There you go. So my conclusion is that uh, the electronic side of this thing is fine. It was a problem with this being blocked open which meant that um, vacuum wouldn't build up. Uh, well, and that seems fine now. Or there was kind of a blockage going on here but this is a real simple system. So what we could do to test it a little bit further is hook it up to the electrics. So that's going to be tricky to get all this together. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all back together and crimp this down so I don't have to hold the bloody thing together and then I can play with the electrics whilst blowing through all the ports and we'll get somewhere there. So be right back. Right, so we're back. Um, what I've done is I've sort of cleaned the, the solenoid as best as I can, um, put it back together as best as I can. Uh, I don't really have any way of crimping that ring on nicely, so it ain't a thing of beauty, but it kind of lives more or less underneath the engine, um, and I think it should be more or less secure. Set up a test rig um, to see if it's working, basically. This larger syringe here is simulating the vacuum being created by the uh, vacuum pump on the engine. This syringe here is simulating the wastegate. This would normally be open like that. Um, when it's ticking over, that's the wastegate open. And obviously when we get up to whatever revs the ECU decides to activate this wiring side of things, um, that should shut. Let's give it a whirl. So we've put this side on under a vacuum now, um, and this is our simulation of the wastegate. So what happens is when the uh, ECU wishes to close the wastegate, it sends a signal to the uh, solenoid here, and hopefully the wastegate should close. And there it is. That kind of looks like it's working. Going to chuck the thing back on the car and find out. <laughs> 